In this video, I'm going to talk about a new project that I'm going to work on. It is a tourism application. And the goal of this application is to spread tourism in my country to the world. So let's see uh, the functionality of the applications. So there's two functionality that I'm going to work on. So the first functionality is display information. So this is like the classics tourism application, like every tourism, it's going to display the information. So I'm going to display things like, for example, things to do, where to go and food to eat. There's only two, three things that I'm going to focus on. I don't want to display like, for example, place to stay. So this problem has been solved, like, or maybe like taken care of by uh, for example, booking.com or Agoda. I don't want to go to that space. And for example, the food to eat right here, I only display the food that is traditional food in my country. So the tourist the traveler that came to my country can try the local food and, you know, learn more about culture of the food. And for example, the thing and place to do right here, I can list all of the place based on their location. So for example, in my country, there are 25 locations, a province. And so they can, uh, wherever they go, they can go to the website and then they can see the list of the thing to do and where to go. That is the first feature, which is really simple. And the second feature is the event. So this is like the event for traveler to meet up and hang out. So this is uh, inspiration from the app called Trip BFF. So um, the traveler or the local can create an event so for example, the event, let's say explore, um, explore this location for one day and they, in the event, they can create like the agenda. So for example, in the morning, we go to visit the museum uh, and then we go to Royal Palace and then we try local food, go to drink, go to club and something like that. So this is like the event that can create by anyone that's uh, in uh, like visits my country or the local itself can create those events for traveler to join. So this is will create more activity for traveler to, you know, experience with the local and then they're going to at least stay a little bit longer when they do like that. And yeah, so this is like the two feature that I'm going to work on, which is, I think, which is really simple, right? Which is all of this feature, but there's some challenge to complete this one as well. So one of the biggest challenge is that all the information that I'm going to display here, I don't want to go to the other website and copy paste the source from them. So for example, if I display, okay, about museum, right? So I, I want, I need to go to museum by myself to get those information. So, or I can look up on the online, probably not really good. So I wanted to go to museum by myself to, you know, each location to feel uh, what it's like and how it's maybe like, okay, what time it's open, how much it costs for tourists versus local and like what time it's open and things like that. So this is the thing that I'm this biggest challenge because there's a the ton of location that I need to go. Right. So I'm starting out right now alone. So which I can do is I can list all the place in the capital from where I live, but later on, if the application turned out to be great. Maybe I can expand my team so they can go to the other place and get all of data and then put it in the web app, but website. So that is the biggest challenge, but I think it's going to be fun doing it as well, because I can go travel to different place, get information and then put on a website. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to try to document the video and, and show you as well. Hopefully you're going to enjoy it as well. And that is the challenge and for the text let right now let's talk about tech stack so for tech stack uh, this is not teach stack <laughs> so tech stack i'm going to use next.js so this is things that i know the best and i'm expert at and then we're going to focus the design and ui is going to focus on the first uh, mobile first view and for database and storage and things like that, we're going to use Superbase. so the reason that we focus on the mobile first design view first is like I want to see the website at the airport or any other transportations. So when the traveler are going to see it, they're going to take their phone and scan a QR code and link to the website. So this is like convenient. So they're not going to open the laptop to scan the QR code. Right. And so the use case is more on the mobile view, uh, mobile first. So that is going to be like the design and also for the design. Still, I have a problem as well. I do not know like what it's going to look like. So this is my best friend for design. I'm going to look up on the triple and to find out like, okay, which design that I really like and pick and start doing it. 
probably like the design that I choose is not going to be like the final design of the application. Um, so things may change. So anyway, just choose one and get started. And so we don't get stuck. And maybe later, if like if it's neat for a mobile application, I'm going to build it as well. So which is the plan that I wanted to do as well. I wanted to, you know, land React Native. Like I know React very well, so I don't think going to uh, React Native is not that complicated. So I think I'm gonna uh, try to do it as well. Anyway, so this is so like all the the like the idea and the application, the project that I'm going to work on. I don't see, I don't know how long it's gonna take. And yeah, we'll see. And I've tried to, I'll keep you guys update and try to document every process and everything. Like for example, if I complete, like go out and find out a place, get a location, I will try to document those as well. And hopefully you like uh, this video and all right. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. Oh no, and let me know in the comments in like, what do you think about this one? And all right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.